Oh, you look so nervous. Don't be nervous, babe. We are going to play a little game I like to call Ask Morton. So, babe, people are curious to ask you questions. So I'm just going to start asking. What's your favorite American food? American food. American food. A diner food. Diner food? Okay. And um, this person says, my ancestry uh, DNA says I'm mostly Scottish. What's some quick and easy Scottish meals? Just give Mince one. Mince and tatties or stovies. Mince and tatties or stovies. And you, do you have recipes for those on your uh, TikTok? I've got the vegetarian mince and tatties. Okay. Online. All right. Uh, in a perfect world, would you move back to Scotland? No. No? Honey, move your chair closer to me. Why wouldn't you move back to Scotland? Because I'm here. Come way closer, way closer, way closer. I want. I mean, my fam. I've got my family back in Scotland, and I've got my family here, and it's like. But I've got all my house and everything here, so. Okay, so you wouldn't move back. All right. Um, this person asked, "I would love to know what Morton's childhood was like." What was it like to grow up as a child in Scotland? Did he grow up on a farm? No, it was a town, town, a small town south of Edinburgh. Right, small town south of Edinburgh. Um, what was it like growing up there? I don't know, it was a small town south of Edinburgh. There's nothing <laughs> astounding. Nothing astounding. <laughs> okay. Um, is this live? This is live. Uh, I'm also going to put this live on our YouTube channel for the mm. people who aren't. I wouldn't bother. Morton, people want to know about you. Okay, Priscilla, I have great difficulty understanding his beautiful accent. Can you repeat his answers, please? Check. Morton, what's your favorite food? I mean, it's like the... I like diner food, I like steak, I like... Uh, I mean, it's like, I, I've not really got a particular favourite. Right. You li are you like a seafood person? You see food, you like it? Yep, that's about the size <laughs> of it. Uh, okay, did you grow up in a city in Scotland, or did you grow up countryside? I was in a town. Oh, this person says, I have a friend who lives in Danoon. Right. That's, that's the beautiful. Coast. Yeah, Morton lived in a little town. The naval base was there for the Americans. Yeah, in Danoon, not where you grew up. No, that's 50, okay. 60 miles west. All right, honey, what's your favorite kind of music? Uh, rock. Rock? Do you have a favorite band? Uh, Black Sabbath, ACDC, anything like that. There you go. Rainbow's probably my favorite. Is it? Interesting. Dio has rocked for a long, long <laughs> time. Uh, Honey, what is your favorite food that you discovered after moving to America? It was um, any kind of Amish cooking. The Amish cooking. You love it, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, what flowers are prevalent in Scotland? Well, there's heather all over the place. There so is heather everywhere. I mean, it's pretty much the same as what's here. I mean, it's like... Mmm, mm, is it? Yes. Hunterinas. What is it? Nasturtiums. You name it, what's well, over there is over here because they brought them with us. That's and, true. Uh, uh, okay, all right. So, but what is the flower of Scotland? The thistle. A beautiful thistle. Ironically, a weed. It's a weed, but it's a beautiful weed. Okay, honey, um, what was the most challenging part of, is it assimilating to life in America? Yes. The pace. It's like they'd want everything done too fast. Too fast of a pace? Mm -hmm. Yep. You go for quality over speed, don't mm -hmm. you? Okay, what is your... Oh, this is a good one. Martin, what's your fondest memory of me? Your smile when we first met. <laughs> Thank you, honey. My smile when, I first, when we first met. Um, Martin, did you have a happy childhood? Relatively. Relatively. <laughs> uh, what are your favorite flowers? Hey, we got it? two baskets of them last lupins summer. Lupins and stuff like that. You love the fuchsias too. Yeah, fuchsias and lupins. Lupins are beautiful. Uh, what made you fall in love with your wonderful wife? I love these A questions. Smile. My smile mm -hmm. again. Oh my goodness. 
I don't even think I got a good smile. Um, it's more of a cheeky, <laughs> mischievous grin. Cheeky. <laughs> It scares me when you say things like that. Honey, do you have an actual hobby, not making bread or cooking? And what's your dream? Uh, I don't have a particular dream, and no, I don't have a specific hobby. I just like to muck about all different things. like to muck. Honey, are you a descendant of William Wallace? Everybody and their dog, uh, and Robert the Bruce. <laughs> Everybody and their dog. And as soon as I'm done answering these questions, because we are on a live, we'll get to live questions too. Um, do you ever get tired of cutting wood? Yep, all the time. <laughs> it's not so much the cutting it, it's the carrying it. Yeah, it's, it's super physical. Babe, what's the biggest challenge moving to America? It was getting a job. It was like... The, when you were getting like interviewed for a job, it was like the filling in application forms. It was weird because like the education system and they asked what your qualifications were and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It was weird. It's all different. Mm -hmm. And probably your paperwork too. Mm -hmm. All the paperwork, getting your visa and all. Um, what do you miss most from Scotland? A... I don't know, it was a bit more laid back and the, the fast food was more diversified. <laughs> it was. There was more socializing, I think, too. Yeah. We socialized a lot more in Scotland. Um, okay, what is the coolest place you've ever visited in the world with me? Probably Rhodes. I mean, we did so much stuff in Rhodes. In Greece, yeah. the Greek island rose. We visited like the Acropolis and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. and scooting about the island in this Cinque Chino. That was fun. I want to go back. Hey, honey, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Two brothers. Two brothers. Um, this question. My daughter is going to Scotland. Where is the best place for tourists to get the most out of a short visit? Probably the Edinburgh area. Edinburgh area. Historic Scotland membership. Yeah, there's so many things that you can visit with that, and it gets you. It, it did anyway get you discount and all your souvenirs and stuff in their stores. Yes, but like within the Edinburgh area, there must be twenty or thirty different places you can visit. There, and yes, get, you can get different length memberships to get into the places. That's a good call. Anybody visiting Scotland, that's what you want to do is National Trust for Scotland, Historic Scotland, or the Historic Scotland get those memberships. Mm -hmm. And because uh, we had both, and it gets you into them like hundreds of places for free. Honey, this <clears> is a good question. Do you have an interest in creating new and local acquaintances, pub, hiking, sports, etc., doing activities with other men? Oh, well, yeah, no, it's like I never have time to do anything like that. But now you're retired. Yeah, but I still never have time to do anything like that. I always try to get you play dates with my girlfriend's yeah, husband. Yeah, I know, but it's not the same, <laughs> is it? <It's> like... <laughs> it isn't the same. Okay, honey, if money was not an issue, what have you always wished you could do in life? I don't know. Fly to the moon. I, don't, I honestly don't know. <laughs> you don't want to fly I to mean, the I moon. I wouldn't mind being able to travel like, around the world and stay in a different place every night, like... You know, there's so many places to see. Like, I've got relatives in Australia, Canada, and all over the place that would be amazing to go and see them all. So travel. Honey, what is your favorite place in Scotland and in the USA? Uh, I don't know, really. It's the... I mean... Do you have... A f I think I could name a favorite spot in Scotland for you. Go on then. Hills Castle? Yeah, that would be one for visiting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what for the U.S.? I mean, we've been to some, so many places here, it's difficult. You pick what one, do you it's think? Like, there's that many, I don't know. Probably Florida now, yeah. with our grandkids there. Because before, your favorite place was Arizona, <coughs> when they yeah. lived there. I mean, I wouldn't have mind visiting the Monument Valley, we never had a chance yes. to do that. Yeah, I was you disappointed want... with the Grand Canyon, but Monument Valley should be good. You want to get to there. And babe, don't be afraid to speak up. I want to make sure everybody can hear you. Honey, what is the perfect day with me? Being with you. 
just being together. Mm -hmm. That's what I think, too. Um, if you could choose, would you like to move back to Scotland? No. <laughs> Does your family from Scotland ever visit? Yeah, not even again. Occasionally. Honey, what's one of your favorite childhood memories? You know, probably camp in Wales with the boys' brigade and out, out at the, like, the local fairground and stuff like that. Camping in Wales with the boys' brigade. And that sounds fun. Um, honey, what's your favorite bed bread to bake? Uh, the Cinnabons. The Cinnabons. <laughs> and what's your favorite Mexican food? Uh, well, what are they called? Fajitas, the steak stuff with the peppers and all that one there. That's good. Rolled up in the thingies. The fajitas, yeah. <laughs> Baby, who taught you how to cook and bake? It was self-taught. I got taught a little bit at school. And a tiny bit off my mum, but she didn't really cook that very much. My dad dabbled, but most of it is I've taught myself out of books and off the internet. And um, what's your favourite meal from Scotland? You got mince and tatties or stovies. Mince and tatties or stovies. And how did you learn to build and fix things? Who taught you how to bake bread? Who taught me how to break, bake bread myself? And how did you learn to build and fix things? My dad did a lot of stuff as we were growing up. Did he let you jump in and help? He helped a little bit. He tended to take over. Right. And uh, But yeah, did a lot of, like, done my house up in Scotland with his help. And uh, he would help with stuff. And then just trial and error and watching YouTube videos. Right. Honey, do you speak Gaelic? No. Any? No, I was never taught and never really took an interest. It wasn't a language that was in our area. Right. But it's like, it's not, I mean, it's one of these things, they say it's the national language of Scotland, that from my understanding, I could be 100% wrong on this, it was never the national language of Scotland. It was right. an area of Scotland. Gotcha. Oh, we might get, we might be close to the end of these. Okay, when you first visited or came to the U.S., what cultural thing stood out that was different than Scotland, if anything? Food. The it food. was so cheap and piled high. <laughs> cheap and piled high, not necessarily good, though. No. Right. Quantity over quality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, when when did you start baking bread? When I started work at the club, or about 15 years ago. Yeah, just it was not long after I started work at the flower dome. Oh, and <clears> last <throat> question, babe. Last question. How did you propose to me? Well, I suppose we better get married. Eh? <laughs> <coughs> That's how he said it. Tell them why. Because you kept having to like go and be every six months. It was like for you to be able to stay in the country. Well, yep. the visitors thing. <laughs> so we were going to get married anyway, but it was like we didn't... Were, were we, with... though? Were we not? So were you were saying we, we weren't going to get married. I don't so know. So if I hadn't proposed then, you would have just buggered off back to America. No. But... What's that? What is that? Strange noise. Oh, Jimmy might be working downstairs. <laughs> okay, that is all the questions. I'm going to put that on YouTube. I'm going to stop this right here, and then we're going to come back on immediately. I'm going to come back on immediately and go live again so you can ask any questions. Before I do, I want to say thank you so much to everybody. Lisa has been sending so many things, honey. You have had caps and hats and mustaches and hedgehogs and... Thank you everybody for watching. I'm going to, this will be forever on our YouTube channel, but I'm going to end this and we're going to immediately come back. So if you have any questions, you can ask Morton directly. We'll be straight back.